This is Mark Bittman for the New York Times. Dina Castor is the fastest American woman marathoner ever. She's won the Chicago and London marathons, and she won a bronze medal in Athens. She then won the U.S. Olympic trials last year and was considered a likely gold medal winner in Beijing, but she broke her foot in the third mile. When I heard she was going to be in New York, I immediately asked if I could get together with her for a little talk about food and running. I'd heard she was a good cook, I know how much elite marathoners eat, and I run a bit myself. My daughter Kate, who's also a marathoner, joined us for a little run, which happened at a pace closer to mine than Dina's. So are you ready to go for the slowest run you've gone on? And I would probably, love to go for a run. since you were 12 years old. Let's work up an appetite. <laughs> Dina, this is Kate, my daughter. Yes, hi Kate. Who's joining us. You too. Thanks for joining us this morning. Yeah. I am usually 100 to 140 miles a week. I am running twice a day, seven days a week. On, on Sundays is our only day that I run once, and so I'll have the afternoon off. So that's usually the day that we entertain at the house and get to I get to play in the kitchen for most of the afternoon. Those days that I'm lacking motivation or feeling tired, I'll grab my MB3 player and put it on, and as soon as I hear that nice beat of a techno song, I start to feel a little more playful in my run, and they end up being wonderful runs, and the satisfaction, I think, afterwards is even greater. Do you what? have a lunch thing? I don't have any preconceived notion about what I would like to make, but we're in a good place for inspiration. Yeah, so this is this Vector Market and Chelsea Market. All this great stuff. And things that I have never eaten before. California, we love peppers. You don't see poblanos in New York markets a lot. You have to come to the special markets like this. Yeah, so we I have two. So. That's our four. I think some of these teeny eggplants, very appealing. Are they Asian Indian eggplants? We call them teeny eggplants, teeny. is the technical term. <laughs> I like the colors you're going for. We've Eggplants, got green, poblanos, red, and purple. You know, actually, let's get some shiitakes, just for fun. Do you want me uh, to get another chili? Pair it with a, yeah, let's grab, I'll go grab it. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great day. Great, you too. So, Kate, okay. are you ready for lunch? <laughs> we got like, um, for some very expensive farro. <laughs> this Italian grain from Tuscany, I think you've had it. Shiitakes, very cute eggplants. Look at them, they're teeny tiny. Yeah, they're Indian beautiful. eggplants. Oh, so, very cool. gonna jog back to the apartment. Get the bag, give it to no, Dina. No, Dina's gonna so. carry the bag because she needs, <laughs> no, a, she needs a handicap. <laughs> to slow her down. <laughs> you guys are going too fast. She's going too fast. <laughs> she needs to give her more groceries. <laughs> I need run. another bag. <laughs> Here we That's are. about the easiest 14 miles I've ever done. <laughs> do you think about what you eat or do you eat just what you want? I imagine you have to eat a ton of calories to not fade away. I eat a lot of calories, but I don't count calories. I think the beauty and uh, the, the great marriage of, of running and eating is that you're expending a lot of energy and you need to consume a lot of energy. So that's how I think of it. And I do eat everything and anything that I want, but what I want is good nutritious food. Yeah. All right, so just Oops. you want to just put them in um, flesh down. side down? I think we'll be able to fit them all in there. Yeah. Anyway, they'll shrink. Ooh, I like that sound. Yeah, it sounds great. And I'm learning here in the kitchen, you say the eggplant is going to brown better without being salted first. Well, salt draws out moisture, and moisture yeah. moisture is not so great for browning. Peppers smell delicious. I wish the camera could pick up the, the smells coming out of the kitchen. I try to instill in, in people not to deprive or cut things out of your diet, but to add things. So adding the vegetables and the fruits rather than depriving people and telling them they can't eat something. And how long have you been running? Um, I've been running since I was 11 and I'm 30, 36 now, so quite some time uh, running professionally for, the, for more than 10 years. And did you, when did you start cooking? I started cooking simultaneously with running. Eleven? <laughs> when you were eleven? Eleven. When, uh, when, you're, when your mom isn't that great of a cook, you end up having to... I had that same experience. <laughs> to do it yourself. Sorry, mom. 
<laughs> to do it yourself. So. Your mother's going to see this. I know. You know. <laughs> I, she knows it. She knows it. I don't know if this microphone is picking up the fact that my stomach is growling. <laughs> All right, so if I were you, I'd eat this, go take a two-hour nap, and then go for a 10-mile run. Get a massage tonight. We're going to get a oh, massage, massage. Tonight. So, yeah, okay. we're going to need to right. book our massages. Next time we'll do that. <laughs> it's delicious. Well, it we worked. did a, a good job.